Advertised horsepower, 545 at 3,300 RPM. Holy. <laughs> Hi, Justin with Seaboard Marine here. In this video, we're going to show you how we drop the engine in this Radden, get it aligned so that we can figure out how our hatch and everything fits around the engine. And um, we're really going to talk a lot about our exhaust system on this one. Um, here at Seaboard, what we do is we try to go as high as we can with the dry exhaust and introduce the water with our custom mixing bell on the downward slope um, of the exhaust and let gravity work for us instead of against us. It's a little bit of extra work to make the exhaust, the custom dry riser, and the custom mixing bell, and they have to be, has to be done custom for each boat, but it, it's worth the extra expense in the long run because um, we've just seen over time that the turbo stays much drier. We don't get any salt water on the output side of the turbo, on the exhaust side of the turbo. Um, a lot of installers might use one of these um, mixing elbows where you introduce the water right here, right next to the turbo. And in a lot, some applications, these work fine when the turbo is up high above the water line and you have a good way to get this oriented down in a downward position. Um, but in a lot of cases, a lot of the boats that we do, the, the engine and the turbo is so low and close to the water line um, that these wind up being installed too flat, or we've even some pe seen some people install them slightly uphill. And that's just a recipe for disaster. You're gonna wind up with water in your turbo it's going to um, corrode the turbo and ruin the turbo and in some cases you get water all the way back up into the exhaust manifold. this engine so far, Frank? New transmission. Uh, new bracket, uh, brackets. Are those new or we were able to use uh, the old ones? We're going to reuse them cool. from the old ones. Throwing down, putting it on down. And, and we did uh, getting hot water. Okay. It's a diver. All right, today's the day. First time we're going to put the QSB into the rad. Now we're just looking at all the clearances around here, seeing how she sits in here. This hatch design really leaves a nice room around the engine. Looks like we got a nice fit to the with the hatch. It's perfect. The exhaust is gonna look clear. Let me see. Six inch. Yeah, we'll put up tight. It'll be like right tight here. ninety. But that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna put a short radius. Then we're gonna put a forty-five. So. You just clear this, no problem, I think. You go like this, and like this. Yeah, right on the inside, like right about here. We'll go dry all the way across. So you got your 45 on there? Yeah, I got a short radius this one time. Yeah. Uh, it's not a big, you know what I mean, 90, so it's not bad using a short radius for this one. One of our custom seaboard mixing bells. Mm -hmm. 
see us laid in a piece of hose here? Yeah, just to get mark it up, and then we're gonna go with this here. And on like that. Cool. That's about the right height too. Okay, we got the dry exhaust done. You can see here starting at the turbo, exhaust flange, a couple of bends across the top of the coolant tank, and then it turns down. Um, we have the mixing bell here on the downward slope. We'll add a 90 and a hose barb somewhere on here to bring the water into it from the heat exchanger. And uh, you can see how this is a superior design. It's going to keep water out of that turbo. Um, just the nature of how high this dry riser is across here um, and where the water is being introduced into the exhaust, um, it keeps it far away from and um, the turbo with a high air gap. So um, the chances of getting any water back into your turbo with this design are much less than with the standard mixing elbow. So again, it's a little more work, a little more effort to do this type of exhaust, but it's far superior in what we've seen in the field. And then after we've welded all the seams, welded it all up, we will um, order a custom exhaust wrap. This is what the exhaust wraps look like. Insulated, high quality exhaust wrap. They look really nice and they do a great job keeping the heat away from your hatch and etc. And these are our seaboard dry exhaust risers.